Listen, while we were off the air, OK, I had a look on the internet and this was on it. Whoa! Right here. <laughs> mm. Now, I can believe that. Senran Kaguru Reflections is silly. It's just silly. And I'm not saying that as a negative, I just don't know how else to describe it. This is going to be a very short review, because in truth there just isn't much here to review. It's part visual novel, part music rhythm game but without the music, part dress up and part Joy-Con tech demo. And in terms of showcasing what the Joy-Cons can do, Senran Kaguru Reflections is a lot better than 1-2 Switch was, and a hell of a lot cheaper too. Basically, you are tasked with filling up a girl's heart meter, and the way you do this is through several different stages of massage or reflexology. Each day begins with simple hand reflexology, which is like playing Chocobo Hot and Cold from Final Fantasy IX on the palm of a girl's hand. You need to find the sweet spot and massage it to move on. There are many different sweet spots though, and each one will transport you into a different scene with the girl wearing a different costume. I actually didn't figure this out until after I got my first heart piece. Once you do get that first heart piece, a few things are unlocked, the most helpful being a small prompt on screen when you're doing hand reflexology that shows you which costume the girl will wear in the next scene if you keep massaging. Once you've thoroughly caressed a sweet spot on her hand, you'll be transported into the next scene where a bit of roleplay visual novel stuff will take place, and then it's essentially the locker room from Peach Beach Splash. The girls stand there, you have two little hands on screen that can grab, rub, poke and slap. Your goal here again is to find a sweet spot. Stimulate that sweet spot enough and you'll be able to choose some advanced reflexology to finish her off. You only start with one option but you'll unlock more as you go along, like a wooden handheld massage wheel thing or a brush. This section is where the rhythm comes in. You'll need to use the Joy-Cons to massage her with your hands or the wheel thing or whatever you choose. Your goal is to fill up her satisfaction bar before the timer runs out, and you do this by maintaining a little happiness indicator. If you do the action too slow or inconsistent, she won't be enjoying herself. If you do it too hard and fast, she'll be in pain. So what you need to do is find a nice rhythm, waving your hands about in the air with the Joy-Cons to keep her nice and happy. Once that's done, another little visual novel scene will play, then it's onward to the next day where you can do this all over again, hopefully finding a different sweet spot on her hand to see her other outfits and roleplay scenes. Other things here include a photo mode where you can change locations, backgrounds, the girl's poses, facial expressions, etc. You can also dress the girl up in a variety of different outfits, as well as change her hair and add accessories. You'll unlock more costumes and accessories as you progress through the game. You'll also unlock new music tracks as you progress, which can be set to be the default, and the secret menu will be unlocked once you've obtained the first heart piece. This allows you to force the girl to wear the outfits you put her in during those later reflexology scenes. And that's about it really. It's 10 bucks, it's mechanically sound, it makes pretty decent use of motion controls and HD rumble, and it's just silly. There will be more characters added through DLC, which is why the price is so cheap, but yeah, if you want to laugh or to simulate brushing a girl's arm for some reason, Senran Kaguru Reflections exists and it costs less than a bottle of water from a vendor at a major sporting event. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing, and I'll see you all soon.